The Stanley Cup Final Picks Edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Edge Boost. Edge Boost enables you to double your bet with no interest. Just go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash edge to get started today. Hey, this is Jeremy Rondick, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, baby. Welcome everyone to the sports <laughs> gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening, Cram? Dog. I ruined the surprise for everyone. Maybe yes. not. Uh, it- if you're watching live on YouTube, youtubecom podcast, we are going to be talking Stanley Cup final picks. Going to be joined by Ryan Gilbert from the Hockey Gambling Podcast. But well, this is on theme. Yes. What better way to 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 open up the set mm. talking about hockey than watching a dude preparing to put dudes on skates? <laughs> oh, okay. See I like what, I what you there? did there. Yeah. I like what you did there, Ryan. Got a great uh, Zeke video <laughs> that we got to play. Yeah, All right, should we just do it? Yeah, uh, let it rip. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I don't. it really needs any introduction. It's just, hey, it's the off season for football, but we still got to crowbar in a little bit of football. Yeah, I'm actually gonna let make sure everyone can see our faces because I think they'll enjoy our reaction. So uh it turns out Zeke, although not on a team because he wants to be a starter, is training and for some reason he allowed this video to be released. <laughs> He almost got taken down by a trash can. It's definitely <laughs> the noises are so great. All right, so we we're gonna need to isolate our favorite parts. There's there's a drop in there, right? And and uh, for those wondering, still asking the question, uh, still have not been answered. Zeke or Kenny Galladay, who gets signed first? Oh man, it is. Uh, it's gonna be. A, I, I think we may be uh, waiting a while. All right, Ryan, uh, let's uh, change gear here. Talk a little uh, Stanley Cup final picks with the host of the Hockey Gambling Podcast, Mr. Ryan Gilbert. Gilbert, what's happening, man? Not too much, just itching for some hockey here. I, I don't know how you guys, football guys, do it with the whole two <laughs> weeks off between the conference championship and the Super Bowl. We have what, four nights here. It's already Thursday. Still got Friday night to go with through till uh, game one on Saturday, but should be an exciting Stanley Cup finals, despite what some um, highbrow fans might, might, might think. So, one of my least favorite parts of football. And I think our commissioner, Roger yeah. Goodell, should evaluate that next. Uh, I mean, I had, especially with the Eagles being in uh, yeah. the Super Bowl, it was just like, I couldn't sleep. It was just two, two weeks. weeks. I'm just like, that. play the fucking game, man. I'm, and and, I'm and ready who can to go. forget the break for the XFL? I was chomping <laughs> at the bit. That was, that was the funniest. <laughs> um, all right. So, we got obviously got Florida Panthers, Vegas, Golden Knights. Y- you said the purists. Weren't really uh, stoked about this matchup. What are what are like hockey diehards saying about this? The obviously it's two American teams, two warm weather cities. But what's your take on uh, these two teams meeting up in the Stanley Cup final? That's exactly what they're saying. That's what <laughs> Joel Meyer from the Hockey Game Pocket is saying. He's saying he hates it. He, he <laughs> likes the players on the teams, but the fact yeah. that it's Florida against Vegas is, is not good. Which I understand. Like if this was the, the rosters are great. There's great talent on both sides. Matthew Kachuk, Jack Eichel. Two potential superstars, but like it's just yeah, it's it's the Sun Belt Stanley Cup final here. Miami's <laughs> going to be off the map in a few years with global warming and everything. Vegas, Vegas has been fantastic though, just one of the best expansion franchises probably in in, in early history. Uh, well, yeah, and, and so and, and and the city. Anytime if you've if you've ever been out in Vegas during a Golden Knights game, like it, it's the only thing it's the only thing the city seems to support so far as a team. Like they go 
all in on it, even more so than the Raiders. Like I went to the Raiders Eagles. It felt like all the Raiders fans were oh, people visiting fans. from Vegas, from LA, sorry, visiting from LA, the yeah. Bay area, whatever Vegas does feel like a local hometown team and our, our boy, uh, Derek Stevens stadium swim. They were all over uh, sports center with their uh, Vegas Golden Knights party. I texted him like, Oh dude, you guys are blown up. He's uh, like, it's awesome. Oh, the, the circa brand brand was on the uniform. I uh, look yeah. th this, this, it, what's interesting is how hockey is the sport that captured Vegas. Cause you're right. There's not another sport that if you walk into a sports book again, Sean and I have been there a lot, a midweek, not a lot going on. Yeah. If the nights were on, there was a crowd. Yeah. And, and they'll do drink specials. It does. It actually feels like the team uh, gets behind the golden Knights. I haven't been to Miami. I don't know if it's uh, if Panthers fever has struck uh, South Florida, It's probably a lot like those heat fan that were the, the ones that left and we're trying to get back. <laughs> in the Ray out. Yeah. Oh, come on. We want to see Ray Helen hit that shot. They might like it. It's cool in there. The humidity is probably real. I mean the, the least humid place you can go in South Florida is a Panthers game. Well, yeah, and uh, I mean the the Panthers, much like the Heat, crazy, crazy run even to get here because uh, you know Florida shouldn't even been in the playoffs uh, by a lot of accounts, and they've just run through, uh, you know, like just, just like the Heat, buzzsaw through the Eastern Conference uh, playoffs. Just walk us through Florida's journey because it's pretty. It was pretty crazy. Uh, now, obviously, they upset the Bruins, uh, who had the best regular season record of all time, but they were 17th in the NHL regular season standings, just barely snuck in as the eight seed, much like the Heat. But uh, walk us through Florida's journey here, Gilbert. Yeah, like you said, it would look like they weren't even going to make the playoffs there after the trade deadline late March, and then thanks to a in part to a Pittsburgh Penguins collapse, which we love to see. <laughs> yeah, Panthers with a uh, Flyers legend Alex Lyon in that went on a run, made the playoffs, went down three one against Boston. It was like okay, they made the playoffs, good run for them, and you know they've only lost one game since they they won three straight against Boston to beat them. Then we talked about it in the second round going up against the Leafs. You know, will this be when when it, when it ends? Will the Leafs finally get past them? And the Leafs didn't put up too much of a fight. The Panthers no. won up three nothing. Soft. Leafs won game Leafs, four. I and... told you it was Leafs uh, Super Bowl <laughs> moment, getting that yeah. round one off monkey off their back. So it was, true. It was all downhill from there. You now, caught it, and now now their front office is imploding there a little bit. <laughs> and then last round, we were talking about a little bit pre-show, but against the Hurricanes, they swept them. It was a fantastic series. Two overtime games. One went to four overtimes. The uh, game four, Matthew Kachuk scored with like five seconds left. So they they seem like a team of destiny, but they're also a team that last season was the best team in the league in the regular season. So they, they brought back most of that team. They added Matthew Kachuk, who's just been a huge piece in the playoffs. And yeah. Sergey Bobrovsky, who is a $10 million goalie, is playing like that finally. So everything's coming together for them, and they've taken down some some big, big, big hunting here the, along the way. Uh, Lucky Nugget already in the YouTube chat, firing off some mm. questions. What is stopping me from putting uh, more money on Bobrovsky to win the Conn Smythe Award? Kind of getting ahead of ourselves. Clearly, here, but uh, you're second guessing yourself. That's why you're asking <laughs> us. But what is what is your take on uh, Bobrovsky for a possible Conn Smythe Award here? I, yeah, I think if the Panthers win, it should be Bobrovsky or Kachuk. But I could see this being a higher scoring series with Vegas having more offensive talent than Carolina had. And Bobrovsky, you know, could be a guy to give up a goal here and there. He could end up getting pulled in one of the games if he gives gives up three or four early. So I think Kachuk is the guy. Kachuk has been Mr. Clutch. He's been the face of them. He's been the rat king. There's a t-shirt out there for him. So <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd, I'd go heavy on Bobrovsky, but definitely pick one of those two and, and for your cons mice. The total goals the gonna win it. Total goals for the series is at 33 and a half again. Ooh. Over under. Instant reaction. I, I, I was looking at that, and a, a different book had it at thirty-one and a half. Whoa. I think oh. over, but like it could just end up being a five or six-game series with with a few low-scoring games. So it's it's those it, things are always tough. It, it's tough because you're handicapping like multiple. Th you're basically forcing yourself into a parlay because you almost have to get the games right and then the totals within those games. But it's still an even money bet, right? Yeah, I, I, it, it feels like it's a, you're kind of putting yourself behind the eight ball. Aiden, so, what about Aiden Hill? Uh, I, I know 
him uh, to win the con Smythe. I was seeing it around 12 to one. You look at him, mm-hmm. his stats and Bavrovsky pretty similar, but there's a massive difference in uh, the odds and Aiden Hill it seemingly is, has really kind of helped the, um, the Knights here make a little run uh, seven and three record 2.07 goals against 9.37 save percentage uh, stopping more than 30 shots per game in seven of those contests. So he seems to be a, a big part of the Knights uh, run here. I'd imagine he's, he's going to be the starter unless something, unless he really falls off a cliff here. But uh, what's your, what's your take on the other net minder? Uh, goalie Aiden Hill. <laughs> yeah, he's the fourth or fifth string goalie already for Vegas now with Lauren Persuas started the playoffs for them. Now Aiden Hill's come in. He's been great. 937 save percentage, seven and three. So he's he's not not a bad look at 12 to one. It's just on the Vegas side of things. It's so wide open. Jack Eichel should get it. Mark Stone's the captain. I like him. He's at 10 to one at some books. I'm seeing 20 to one elsewhere. I think oh, wow. that's good value. Then there's guys like Marcia. So Carlson, they can just get hot going to run. Marcia. So was a little bit um, sour about the Panthers, leaving him exposed in the expansion draft after scoring 30 goals with him. So you have that revenge narrative, but at, at this point, handicapping the con Smythe is a bit tough, but yeah, Aiden Hill, I would probably stay away from him and the, he might be the reason I don't believe in the golden Knights Cause I, I don't think Aiden Hill can be a Stanley cup winning, winning goalie. Well, fun, he, does, he seemingly has come out of fun nowhere. goalie yeah. bet. Shutouts. Ooh. Shutout for Aiden Hill in game one's eleven to one. Bobrovsky's thirteen to one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um lucky uh Jose Gonzalez in the YouTube chat saying Florida, Miami to win it all. Uh plus seven sixty one. I, I I'm Rick. assuming that's an uh, that that's probably not an updated price. That <laughs> yeah, was, that was because pre, pre heat were uh they were like three fifty. Probably got, got a better price now. Yeah. Uh, although yeah. probably didn't change too much. Real after quick on that front, months. on the South Florida front. What what are you what are your takes on uh the the take that's been brewing in my head that this is the Revolutionary War part two? Part one, we broke the colonies broke off of of the rule of, of the, the evil English and their taxes mm. part two, the defectors of the Northeast who have gone to South Florida, AKA all the chowder heads down in the warm waters it's of the a Gulf baby fucking wheel, man. and South Florida. Now in, in one season they've swooped up and they've had their Boston tea party taking out both the Boston Bruins, best team in the history yeah. of the world in seven and the Boston Celtics. Uh, I guess a good basketball team in seven in the same season. <laughs> no, I mean Miami is really just As a owning city, the is, city of, it, of it, Boston. Right is now. Miami New Boston? Mm. Should we just change the name to New Boston? That's got a nice ring to it. What do yeah. you think, Gilbert? Well, the, I mean, the <laughs> Dolphins are gonna. I, I just need, yeah. I, I was gonna say you need the Marlins to do something. Down there, <laughs> yeah. Sure if they have that, what's gotta kill the people from Boston is there's people with Boston accents that live in Miami. Yeah, we a need lot we, we need we need two to finish a season. Uh, maybe oh, uh, if Miami goes up to New England and wins, South Florida <laughs> oh, ownership hear, over Boston is never full. hear the end of it. The South's winning the war again. All right, uh, let's get to uh, game one and then and then get some serious thoughts before we do that. Of course, shout out to Edge. Boost. This episode is supported by Edge Boost. Good buddies over there. Edge Boost, the world's first ever bet now, pay later Visa debit card. Uh, they offer up to twenty five hundred dollars in betting advances, which can be extremely valuable tool. A- again, we were just talking about uh, these crazy uh, odds for Miami and the Panthers to get to these series. Maybe you want to hedge out. Maybe you want to find that sweet, sweet, juicy middle uh, of maybe like plus two and a half games, or uh, where you could win both. Uh, whatever it is, it's always nice to be able to extend your bankroll, especially if you're not paying any interest. I mean, that's that's crazy. Again, it's very easy to use. All you can do is go to sportsgamepodcast.com slash edge to sign up. And again, they're not some crazy loan shark. There's it's not some crazy juice. You deposit a hundred, they'll match the hundred, and you pay the hundred back in four equal installments of twenty-five bucks. AKA you're able to get the bets that you're trying to get to. Uh, must be 21 years or older to use problem gambling call 1-800 gambler sports gamblingpodcast.com slash edge to get started today. Sean, I think in, in a future, uh, maybe, maybe the read for tomorrow's show, uh, I'll do the math on the, uh, the EV you're gaining oh, by, by, 0% dub- interest? By, by doubling down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. Florida Panthers head to Las Vegas, a square off against the golden Knights. 
Uh, money line, the Knights are a minus one thirty favorite. Panthers a plus one ten dog. Total sitting at five and a half. Panthers plus one and a half minus two thirty on the puck line. Knights minus one and a half plus one ninety five. Gilbert, uh, let's get your take here on game one. Yeah, I'm going going with the Cats here. Plus one ten. Mm. They've been road warriors all playoffs long since it's fallen behind against the Bruins. Um, they've taken their last two game ones on the road, including that four overtime game in Carolina. And uh, Vegas hasn't been great in game ones. They lost game one in the first series, five one, went back and forth. The next series, six four win against the Oilers. But then Stars took them to OT last last round. Vegas won that early in OT. But I, I think the Panthers, you know, they. They're on another level here. I don't think you can give them plus money right now. If you can give me plus money on them, I'm going to take them all, all day long. Oh uh, yeah, hey, Kramer, what are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, now that's a Panther sound. Well, I, I, here here's what I would say. Uh, th- it's a very odd scenario, right? Typically, the expansion team would be the scrappy dog, but it does not feel like that dog. because they are not the scrappy dog. They are not that cat that has to deal with gators <laughs> in its backyard. They are not that cat that has to deal with uh, humans driving jet skis over the land where they live and destroying their habitat. <laughs> yeah, no, I love. I love. Uh, I was actually, as you were talking, I was looking into the idea of a sweep. Mm. My thought being, any time. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you uh, saw the comments of Carolina head coach Ra- Rod Brindamore. About how they were basically they were they were super close to winning all four of those games in the series they got swept. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in in my mind, if you can win four games in a series where you should have lost those four games, you're gonna win these games. Well, I think they. I, I think I think you can look at it two ways. Obviously that well, way, or as a Knights fan. Oh, you're a Knights fan. Let's now? go Knights. Well, I got to root. Vegas. I got to root for someone. I yeah, love Vegas. Flyers are Flyers are are, are nowhere near the playoffs but right now. Frankly, I'm on a, on a fucking heater. Like De- Denver and five for the, the Nuggets. It's already gonna hit. Well, I already well, see right, it. One game. We in. don't have to bring up the USFL records, but oh, Ryan, well, you have been professional sports only. <laughs> I'm a pro sports handicap. For me, the Panthers, uh, three point six one expected goals against oh, per sixty, which is the worst mark of any playoff team. Now. Uh, they haven't been uh, it's expected goals, right? To your point, Kramer, like they, they have been uh, close to losing games, but everything they, uh, is well, bouncing right for them. I the think same this, every year. I, I the think, best goalie wins the, be, the team with the best goalie wins. Yeah, what do they say? I guess I'm just in denial that Did you hear Sergei can talk? be the best goalie. Sergei speaks like he could be a ballerina and he's in there standing on his head. Sweep Florida. Let's go. <laughs> One of their teams has to win. It's not going to be the heat. So. I love Marchie. Uh nine goals over the last 10 games I, and the Florida Panthers. They've been outshot in all but two postseason yeah. games. I like, and I, I think the they're basically Vegas, the tw- 2007 New York football Giants. <laughs> you can't use that for every analogy <laughs> to, to speak to that expected goals thing about the Panthers. Yeah. giving up. I'm some pulling shit out of my ass field for no, no, I, 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 but like, that's a point that people made that the, the hurricanes expected goals for is usually kind of inflated because they, they have lower quality shots, but higher volume. So Ooh, that's mm. inflated a bit. Okay. I uh, see. I it's like a good what you did there. I, 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 you know I, what? I was impressed. Gilbert <laughs> says, "You know what? That's why they don't play the games in a fucking spreadsheet, mm. Sean." <laughs> I know. I am going spreadsheet here. I, how, how can you not love the the great American story of a team from South Florida playing <laughs> hockey in a dome? Yeah, no, I just I, I'm going Knights. Knights keeping it simple on the money line minus one thirty. Gilbert, when you like a team, I, I I like the Knights here, but again, I do think it's going to be close. When do you decide to bet the money line versus the puck line? Like you're on the Panthers, but I, I think even if you like the Panthers plus one and a half minus two thirty, I don't know. Like I, that's not my betting style at all. But w- what do you use to you decide pu- when you go line. puck line money line? What do you, what do you yeah. factor in here? Definitely in a game one, I'm I'm going money line if I'm taking the team. Maybe I I would put a Panthers like a Panthers plus one and a half parlayed with an over or under okay. to get the juice down a little bit. I did that. I do that more when I know what the teams like how they match up. But with this one, it could be like a three two game. It could be a five four game. So total wise, I don't really know what to look at. Uh, puck line wise, I mean, if I were to take the Panthers puck line, I would go re- reverse puck line minus one and a half. Yeah. At a plus two fifty five, oh, so I could yes. see them coming out, 
going winning by two or three and just blowing the nights away there in game one like uh like like the jets did in the first round so he's in my notes yeah. <laughs> something Not- something to look for in, in ga- games further down is taking the dog plus two and a half and then under six and a half can usually get you around even money and usually stanley cup final games are lower scoring and close so okay so the logic mm. there is that one maybe they let them play a little bit um two obviously they're, they're the intensity is ratcheted up a little bit the games are mm-hmm. closer so uh, all suggested plus two and a half on the dog and then under six mm-hmm. all right yeah that's interesting what about uh game one total do you have a lean here it's sitting at five and a half over I'm seeing minus 120. You have a you have a play here on the on the total for game one. I, I've I've been going back and forth in the total. I, I could very well see it go, going under five and a half. I think if you just want to play the straight total, then under five and a half is the play. But I I think if it goes over, it's going to go three three probably into overtime or four three in regulation. So take the over six and a half at plus one twenty five for for some plus odds there, and then hope for a goal fest in, in, in game one. All right, so I, I was I brought it up earlier to to hear Gilbert's response. And no one really gave much of a response, but Bobrovsky plus thirteen hundred to get a shutout. Oh, game one. I missed that. Mm. Let's go. Wait, I, so is it, it, it lines okay. up? Is it wait? Sorry, is it plus thirteen hundred just for game one? Yeah, thirteen to one. Okay. He gets a shutout game one. All right. I also so like, then you. I think if you like. If you like the shutout at, at thirteen to one, then you would also be on the alternate puck line, I think, right? Unless you're oh. a one zero shutout, and if feels you're pretty rare. if you're a sicko, you go <laughs> minus one and a half with like an alt under too. You bring it oh. down to four yes. and a half. Yes. Yeah, you do. That's how you, you play. Go, go, if, you, you're, if you think it's going to be a shutout, you're right. Yeah, exactly. Parlay the alt puck line with an alt under. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, we've all we've been doing is maximizing value on this program just, for just years. Just doing exact score three nothing. Why not? Sorry. Like oh, plus. okay. Twenty to one or something. See, now, now I have to go. Now I have something to do tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's gonna be in the lab. I, 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 I hate to say it because this is generally when the heater ends, but I've been on a heater and it yeah. just feels like whatever I touch goes to gold. So, are you thinking Panthers even or odd game one, Kramer? <laughs> oh well, <laughs> now we're talking. Odd, is, odd has been <laughs> sharp for a long time. Only. So I guess we're back to three zero. Perfect score. <laughs> Taking us back to the sim days. What about uh what about game one specific props here? It sounds like you're leading to somewhat closer game and you're on the Panthers. Any uh any player props here jump out at you? I, I haven't dug into the props for game one yet, but these teams both have a player or two that their goal odds are usually probably longer than they should be, uh mm. specifically at, at one book. Um uh, Brett Howden for the Golden Knights plays on their second or third line. He's usually plus 600 when his line mates are around plus 300 or less. Uh, Anthony Duclair also for game one. He's plus 280. He's on that line with Barkov. And then Nick Cousins, former flyer, is a recipient sometimes of some garbage in front from Matthew Kachuk. So he's at plus 340. So I like to look, look at those top six wingers that maybe not aren't like the stars to, to get some of the value there. I, I like this, Ryan. It sounds like a similar. You're, you're looking for that backup tight end to get the anytime touchdown. Yeah, that's exactly similar what formula. All uh, right. I can I can dig it. Yeah, um, exact score. Uh, by the way, three nothing is forty to one. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Maybe I spray uh, three nothing forty to one and two nothing sixty five to one. Oh wow! Mm. All right. Mm. Now, what about the series itself? If you like the Panthers to go in, quick update. Yes, these cowards aren't letting me parlay these. All, the <laughs> alt puck line with the alt. I total. think you might have to take your business uh, out of this country, right? Jesus, find, find right. a little. Uh, I mean, I am out of this country. Oh, really? We even out of this country <laughs> down south. It's not letting me do it. People are uptight these the days. Squares. All right. Sorry. Continue. For the series itself, Gilbert. Uh, Panthers plus 105, Knights minus 125. If you like the Panthers to go in and steal game one, I'm guessing you're on the Panthers for the series. Yeah, and you can just get Panthers to win game one and the series for yes. plus 225. I oh. think that's probably oh, the, yeah. the best look if, if you do agree that the Panthers are the better team here or do have the better chance. But yeah, I think this will be a, a longer series. Uh, you can find over five and a half games around minus 180. That is juicy, but both of these teams should be able to win two games. I mean, Vegas has gone six games each of the past two series. Florida played four very close games. But I think this o- over five and a half games at, at a juicy number could be worth it. Or just take it to go to go to seven games or probably plus plus two hundred, plus two twenty five, and just 
root for a, a long series. Now I, I feel we, we may have talked about this in the past, but is there a is there a series extender, a ref crew that the NHL has <laughs> ready to go in the way that the NBA the NBA really cares about their ratings? I mean, they're a I feel like the NHL's too tough to care about the ratings. They're like, oh, it, no one watches the game. Who cares? We we let them decide it on the ice. We don't need your stupid ticky tack fouls to extend games. Is there is there any sort of situations like where they put away the whistle? They don't. I I know our um, our buddy CJ Man in the Box oh. is complaining about all the penalties <laughs> being called nah. compared to older school hockey. Where are you at with the yeah. uh, length of the games and and kind of the impact penalty wise? Yeah, penalties. You know, early on in the playoffs, it's worth betting power play goals over. I'm gonna have to go look back and see if it's worth doing it for game one in the Stanley Cup final. It might be. You can usually get over one and a half power play goals at, at plus money. Both of these teams have guys that can score in the power play. And yeah, I, I could see that some conspiracy theories out there because there is some gray area with like go goalie interference and offside and then like stuff, stuff they can review, stuff they decide to review, intent to blow the whistle, whatnot. So I, I could see if one team goes up 3 0 and like the fans would be like, oh, it's a two two southern teams and now they're going 4 0, 3 0. I, I could see him maybe extending at a game or two and, and he trying to even things up, but there's nothing like, like the, uh, like the NBA for that. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's on another level uh, with the NBA. Uh, just quick update for everyone at home. I did just uh, wager on Panthers in a sweep 14 to one. <laughs> oh man. Let's oh go. God. Heater heater rolls on. I'm going against you. I'm taking the good nights. luck. Motherfucker. Taking the Knights. You took minus he, he, he game one too. So no, I, I took. Oh well, you because you bullied me. But yes, no, I no my lock. <laughs> Don't was, give into bullying. What are you doing? Yeah. yeah, no, my I took I took Heat plus eight and a half. Yeah. That did not hit, but <sighs> I I still have Heat in seven. So that's looking that's looking good. <laughs> and then I have. Because you, you, for oh, them, to, please someone turn Gilbert's eye roll into a gift. That, for oh. them to, for them to you, win, you got to lose three. You got to lose yeah, three to win. Exactly in seven. for you to for the, the heat, series hasn't started for the yet. Heat to win in seven. They got to lose three games. They already took care of one loss. They're on. Tr uh, they're on p on pace to win in seven. <laughs> oh shit! I like this night's team. I, I think uh, Aiden Hill is uh, is legit. I understand he's the fifth string goalie, but yeah. he's got to look in his eye. And I just think this Panthers team is is just kind of going to hit the wall. And I think Vegas has a legit home ice advantage. So I am on the Knights minus one twenty five. I think I think they get it done in uh, six. I'm going to say Vegas Knights officially in six for me, Kramer. How say you? I, have you not been listening to the fucking show? <laughs> Panthers. I want to get it on Let's record. Let's go. <laughs> that was kind of like a jet ski cat. Yeah, you're 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 uh, you're. I, I was you doing got a little water in the carb there. You yeah, got to clear it out. When were we talking animals last? Was it stallions or you some USFL? Michigan Panthers. Oh, Panthers. Yeah, it was another Panther. I was doing a better job with the USFL. Ryan Panthers. really really loves his Panthers. All right. Uh, yeah, we kind of <laughs> hit on it up top, but. Do you have thoughts on on some of these uh, series bets? Um, you know, Con Smythe, top goal scorer, any any stuff like that you like? Uh, I do like the Panthers in six for if you're looking for a correct score. That's plus four seventy five. Um, I have not dug into the series long player props. We are planning on recording a hockey Ooh. gambling podcast Ooh. episode on that on Friday night for Love you. Love it. DJ is going to be li listening to hockey Hashtag content on a Saturday in June. But we appreciate you. Um, and yeah, Con Smythe, I guess, is probably the, the best way to go. Make sure you shop around because there is, are different it does prices. Seem like um, Mark Stone, 20 to 1, I think would probably Ooh. be my favorite value bet. He's up there close in points to Eichel. He has the captaincy. He was he hasn't been there since the beginning, since but he was traded there the, the second year. So I see him, you know, if he goes off for a few goals, a few, a few assists, he could get it. 20 to 1 is just a great price for that. Uh, and just anyone who will be in Vegas for the game, just a heads up. There's actually a Ducks Unlimited convention going on down at the Venetian. It's all about uh, wetland restoration and water foul management. <laughs> uh, Dylan in the YouTube chat saying Stone plays on the losing team. Ryan, <laughs> what? Uh, well, he was talking to Gilbert. Oh. What? What do you? He's pointing out that's a good price at twenty one. I'm going to co-sign that. Oh. I like that. Obviously, I like. 
the Knights here. Right. But if you if you had to pick a Con Smythe guy on the Panthers right now, what do you wh- who do you think has a good price? Uh, uh, I mean, Kachuk plus two ninety. He's here. I think I see him plus three sixty elsewhere. Yeah. Um, if you want a long shot on the Panthers, um, Alexander Barkov, I believe, Ooh. is over a hundred to one. He's their captain. If, oh if Kachuk God. gets shut down and it's a high scoring series, I could see him swooping in. He has 14 points in 16 games, so it's not like he's been invisible. Um, but yeah, it's probably going to be Kachuk. Barkov's uh, 100 to 1? Um, that's last time I checked on, on a. Wow. Uh, that's, I mean, that's just book here. awesome. That's an awesome yeah, price. Yeah, 120 to 1. So I, I feel like that, along with wow. Stone, are, are the two best long shots. But yeah, Kachuk plus 360, Eichel plus 400 are probably the two better bets if you're putting actual money down. <laughs> I like how you have to specify. Not Listen, your if, you're putting, if you're putting actual money down, reasonable <laughs> amounts, I'm going to throw out a little prop. I do like the Mark Stone uh, play at 20 to 1, especially. Okay. And Ryan, I'm okay. going to try my hand at uh, we mastered the first touchdown bets. I'm going to move over to the first goal bets. Give me Mark Stone 13 to 1 to score the first goal for the. Vegas Knights in route to winning game one and winning the series. Uh, that those are my official. If your last name is Stone, are you pissed off? It's not Stones. <laughs> His middle name potential is so much better with Stones. Uh, we Sean we, Massive Stones. <laughs> we got. I'm laughing because we got a lot of a uh, lot of activity here oh. in the YouTube chat. <laughs> YouTube.com/slash Sports Gaming Podcast. Make sure you that subscribe button. Grant De Bears saying, "Sean, are you a Flyers fan?" Yes, of course. Kramer, please. He's asking, "Are you Rangers or Islanders?" Oh Jesus! Well, uh, Do I have to explain uh, this again. <laughs> have you not heard Ryan? Yeah, I, you don't know my ramble puck, on my, about the D- New Jersey Devils. My puck origin story back when the Devils were ruining hockey and Marty Brodeur was standing on his head, much like Bobrovsky's about to. <laughs> I was a Devils fan. Brendan Byrne Arena was empty all the time. It was very easy to get tickets. Probably the. M- Yankees is probably number one, but Devils is probably a close second in terms of number of times I've seen them live. Yeah, no, uh, Rain. Honestly, the most my, my most hated rival as a young person after the Red Sox was 100% the Rangers. Screaming 1940 was an amazing thing we got to do until 1994. Uh, I, I, when I say it was one of the worst moments of my childhood, I'm not kidding. I still have memories of being in rooms in like friends' houses, watching them lose in double overtime. That mm. was horrible. Screaming 1940 at people wasn't amazing. <laughs> I, like, I feel like it Colby, is a fun but, thing to yell. But you you would just go to the games. There'd be all these Rangers fans, and we would just turn around and just scream 1940. <laughs> Like it must have been the most obnoxious thing ever, but that that was that was life in the uh, early '90s in New Jersey. It was a simpler time yeah. before uh, they moved to the Rock. Gilbert, any any other any other plays you got cooking up? Obviously, everyone, make sure you subscribe to the Hockey Gambling Podcast. By the way, Joel sounds a lot like Colby. Oh, guy just who being likes, like old school, just like stuff the way it was before. <laughs> yeah, they, they probably get along pretty well. <laughs> I did see Talon on uh, Twitter referred to, uh, I think it was the Leafs general manager as a knob, and I'm like, oh, that's a great <laughs> insult. <laughs> Haven't heard that one in a while. Bring, yeah, bringing a, me back. So uh, shout out to Talon. Great, great reference of the knob there. Uh, I've, you, so you guys are taping a episode Friday evening. Make sure you get get that in mm-hmm. before. Uh, Game one. Yeah, I, I did just find a, a series leading goal scorer bet. I, I don't mind here. William Carlson at 20 to 1. He oh. had five goals last series and two in the clincher. So uh, if he keeps it up, he seems to be a pretty clutch performer. So maybe he can pot a few and cash that 20 to 1. He's 15 to 1 first goal score. I'm I'm wow. really going to be uh, looking at these first goal scores. It seems pretty fun. I know what? the I know the uh, I, the hockey gambling guys probably look down at me as like a what square uh, for my first goal bets, but let's go. Oh, you got talent. As you got as, talent. As long as there's not there's not real money being placed, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, no, that's if you got talent, you got talent. I mean, ch- they would have told you not to play Chig Conquo as well, Sean. Well, they were they wrong. Have told they you. were wrong about uh, Chig. I, I yeah. mean, come on, Chig. Chig's the man. Grant saying uh, he's been listening to us for a year oh. on Spotify. Just recently tuned in. 
Uh, turn notifications on for the live pods. Love it. Recommend everyone doing that. Oh, we are live here uh, Sunday to Thursday, eight thirty Pacific, eleven thirty East. Getting you ready, and we're going to be doing. Uh, depending on when you're listening to this, either Thursday evening or Friday AM, we will be doing a game two NBA bonus pod kicking off uh, noon Pacific. So stay tuned for that. We got you guys covered. Thanks to Ryan for checking in. Uh, make sure you get him and all the hockey gambling podcast goons over uh, where oh, we get wow. your podcast hey, goons, goons in a, in a good way, right? It's, it's a loving, yeah, it's a loving yeah. goon. I, I I feel like the the hockey discord a lot of chatter in there very fun a lot of goons in there a lot, yes, lot of goons lot in the discord of, very goon heavy in the uh, <laughs> hockey discord great guys in there follow Ryan on Twitter at r gilbert s o p thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast for the sports gambling podcast I'm Sean second the money green and he is Ryan Kramer let it slide. <laughs>